the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Love God you. bless you. You know what? This is this is a I really enjoy what we talked about this morning, this Sunday session. And that's I'm gonna break it down to a sections A, B, C, D, you know, whatever it takes to, to finish it out. But I do want to make sure you remember is to subscribe. If you like the video, uh, subscribe to it. Because that's what we need to continue to show that we're doing and we're on the right track. Uh, but if you don't, I'm still going to preach the gospel. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the topic we're talking about today, the subject or the topic we're talking about today is right here. Uh, let me show it to you. I love this one because I'm trying to bring out a point. The point is right here. Uh, the descriptor or the title is down in the far head right corner. And I, I, I moved the other one as far as teaching the gospel is sure way it was written. I put that to the left now so that you can stay focused on what is your responsibility and what is the subject for the day. And this one is talking about is God. And when he said, I did not, and I guess we could change, we could change the title and say, God did not, so nobody will get uh, confused. Uh, but God said, I, I did not call you to be hateful, superior, or seek fame, glory. I didn't call you that. That's the, I don't know where you got that from. I don't know why you think that's important. Because all that said, the, 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 if you're trying to be superior, I didn't call you to be prideful. I didn't call you to be superior. I didn't call you to seek vain glory. I called you to go preach the gospel. I called you to help others receive eternal life. I gave you eternal life if you are in Christ. You have eternal life. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came, he gave his son for you to have eternal life. And then some of you sit there and say, well, I don't, you, you're gonna, once you die, that's it. Then you wanna have faith in that's up to you. But also those, those of us that are believers and many others, know that we believe by faith that there's another that's eternal life. And we want to be in eternal life connected to God. That's what eternal life means. Opposed to eternal death. Disconnected from God. So this topic, and then while we're showing this, uh, this, this week is to get you to internalize what, what you need to do as a believer. You, you call to preach the good news. You call to bring people out of the dark into God's marvelous light. You call to obey the, the, the guidance that God gave or Christ gave. But then you can either go by the law, but the laws are good too. You can go by the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is, is talking about, and you wrap it up in two great commandments to love the Lord thy God with all the heart, all our mind, all that strength, and to love thy neighbors as self. And then Christ said, I gave you a new commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And 35 said, and men will know that you're my disciples for the love that you have for one another. Let's love one another. And we that are believers are both to encourage people to repent. Because Christ said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So let's do that, amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to make comments. It helps me to understand where I'm at and what I need to do to fix things. Because I'm not perfect. I'm not even trying to be. I know who he is. That's Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. I'll check you later. Bye-bye. What about? Don't even answer the question. What about? Point to somebody else. <laughs> like it's, it's, the, it's, it's admitting to to what, what the discussion is right. by not addressing it and then pointing to somebody else that did something similar. Come on. Come on. That, that's what I'm sitting there saying. It, 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 it's, 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 well, that's what I'm saying. If so-and-so get away with it, I should be. My, mm -hmm. my guy should get away with it. Right? 
so and so the, the to me it's like the hate and everything else from the the lying tongue. If so and so got away with lying, then we should get away with lying. Not to sit there and say that who you got to answer to. You, you know what I mean? It's like you forget the who you got to answer to. Or you as I guess that's gonna be one you think that's gonna be one excuse when they go before God. I don't even know if he'll have he to talk with the, the, the audacity to to do <laughs> such a thing. You know, when 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 truth is sitting before you. <laughs> you know <laughs> when 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 you've been given to the ability to understand everything. Come on. <laughs> then what 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 can you do? What can you do? It's, it's it's like it's it's like I know I'm, it's almost like you're saying I gave my I, I willingly gave my soul away for something that has no value, but I think it has value. You know what I mean? It it it, 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 it it's it's worth going against the six things that God ate. It's worth going against the Ten Commandments of God. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, and, and we saw that, I mean, he, God, they, if people are all in the scriptures, I mean, I think I, we legalize, that's what the thing about, you know what I'm talking about? The people who profess themselves to be Christians have really made it difficult for believers to operate. When we say the scriptures, remember that word term Bible from that, 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 Yeah. You know what? That that was meant to sit there and say, you don't, you don't need to listen to the Bible sitting there talking about the Bible. And, and then I, I think I like at least the vision I got when you was out there preaching the gospel. You know, when you was showing the people the scriptures, you had that that zeal for it. Oh yeah. That there, there was already a painted perception. You know, in the system. Yeah. That this is Bible thumping. You you don't need to bring in a new job. You don't need to come in to a picnic to your family because now you're pushing an agenda opposed to what he's doing, what he's called to do. He's called to preach the gospel. Yeah. But that's not what they see, right? They see Bible thumping. I heard one of my relatives sit there and say, all he likes to talk about is the Bible. <laughs> that, was, that, that was what I heard. I, I guess that's a good compliment, right? <laughs> that, that is a compliment. <laughs> you know, but the, the, I think the... The, the, uh, <laughs> the negative that people see oh. is exposure to truth. Yes. And the understanding of where they stand in relationship to God's righteousness. To God's um, righteousness, right. You know, no different than Adam and Eve hid themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, pain bucked up against God. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so, like I said, that, that came mentality. You don't want to hear it. You got, you got to, you know, buck up against it. Yeah, yeah. You know, am I my brother's keeper? Why, why are you telling me this? Mm. Sort of mentality. I don't, I don't need to hear this. Ooh. I don't want to hear this. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. that, that is that, that mentality that you have uh, when you're sharing the gospel in a setting that people don't expect to hear it. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. If, if I want to uh, enjoy this situation that is is set up to glorify my flesh, I don't need nothing about my spirit interfering mm. in this moment, in this particular time. Mm -hmm. I'm here to enjoy these people or this music or this setting or this type of conversation. God is not allowed here. 
That that is sad. Uh, That's sad. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I mean, they could at least be honest. Uh, you know, my 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 heart is too heavy to hear. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and I'm, and I'm pretty sure people say that uh, in in different types of ways, but it's understandable. You know, uh, when when they told Moses, "You go talk to God." You go talk to God. <laughs> yeah. You know, he did do that, didn't he? Yeah, that's what he I did. I don't want to be exposed to that. No, but in fact, don't forget they said, "Let's go die." Yeah. Just like some fact said. is, that's the alternative. Yeah. You know, a permanent uh, death. Mm. It's, it's a death instead of a transition. Wow. It is a yeah. It's it's a finality to it, right? It's yeah. A, yeah. That that is interesting. And, that's how some of the people said, "Don't you messing up the mood?" But see, it, you won't mess up the mood talking about committing adultery, no, uh, fornication, lying, the lust, the, the, the lust of, of of the flesh. You know, in any form of fashion, any form of fashion, you won't you won't offend a whole lot of people. Yeah, it, you know? yeah. I mean, we can talk about that in this environment. Yeah, you know, we we can enjoy you in this party. You know, is it, you know, is it? I wonder what it was like when Jesus was talking, even when Jesus was talking to that that when that party he went to the Levites, and, yeah. and, and, and obviously people that was enjoying himself, they were listening to, him, right? Yeah. He he was invited to the party, <laughs> but who got offended? The religious people, yeah, because. They were, they were self-elevating. It was, yeah. And, and they, these are people who think that they can't be taught anything because they know everything. You know everything. And then when they're exposed to the truth, yeah. And they have to look in the mirror, then you get offended. You get offended. Why he's and, talking and the, to the these? crazy thing is, you're offended of your shortcomings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, and you, and they look, keep it out of perspective, too. When he's when they think about what he did, they said, "Why are why is your master talking to those sinners?" Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you a question. I think you, I think it's the obvious answer. Was he talking to? Uh, some Syrian, some Turkish people, some Greek people, uh, uh, some Samaritans. Well, what, what, what you think? Do you think those are the people at that party? Uh huh. Uh huh. You know who those people were? Yeah. They, they, they were Jewish people. Yeah. Right or Hebrews, right? Yeah. They were and, Hebrews. and he. And the sad they, thing about it is, they should. Have been being told about him the entire time, but they weren't. They were being they were being tasked to do things that these folks couldn't even do themselves or wouldn't. They wouldn't, right? You know, so they were they were being they were making this lifestyle that that mm. Yeshua wanted to present to them mm. seem so laborsome that it's not worth it. Because they rejected it, almost like you know, I'm not, I'm not called a minister. You know, Levi's supposed to be working the temple anyway, right? They, yeah, they they they, 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 they supposed to be uh, serving the people of God concerning the Word of God, mm -hmm. educating them. But they had that mentality. I just—I don't know if you caught that. I just caught that. I, really, I just caught that. Mm -hmm. Why are you talking to those people? Almost bringing up to the today's concept. Yeah. You—you—you you, you don't supposed to be talking, to and yet you're supposed to be. Yeah. That, no, you go to church to be equipped to talk to them people. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why you go to be perfected to go talk to these people. That, that's that's the crazy thing about it. You know, um, 
We're teaching them not to go talk to those people. No different than what they were doing. It's, it's the same thing. But and and from my understanding here, the, the Levites had been infiltrated mm. by colonizers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I think a lot of them were were not of of the Levites. Mm -hmm. I don't think they were evil. I don't think, you know, they, they could have been any of, of the different nationalities that came through and defeated the Hebrews, you know, right. put them in subjugation. Uh, so I think that they were making it hard for them mm. to yeah. live that lifestyle so that they could keep them in a position that was under them. Interesting. Because they wouldn't, they would make it seem like we could do this, but you can't. They would put on the false image of we can live this lifestyle, but you can't. So That's we're interesting. Doing, you know, by, by, and, and what I'm meaning by that is that because you can't live this way then you need to come to us to be delivered from that, to be forgiven of you got You gotta come to us. Yeah, and if we, and if you are able to do what we can do, then we're unnecessary. Interesting. And so we gotta come to them, like bring them to church, right? Yeah. The, the modern day uh, vernacular is bring them to church. Yeah. Because, as a matter of fact, we, we don't want you to talk to them. Yeah. Except for to bring them to church. Yeah. But see, we 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 know how to talk to them, right? Well, that's that's the implication. That's the implication, right? No you know, worries. And, and and it's it's a a mark of failure. Mm. It is a testament of failure. Whoa. To where you have to bring them to me then that is a failure on my part because I can't impart into Ooh. you what you need to do to do the work of this ministry. Whoa. So because I'm failing, Ooh. bring them to me so that I can, I can try and give them an, a, 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 uh, Understanding the knowledge of the concept uh, of salvation, uh, uh, minister well, salvation. The crazy thing is, they're giving them a false image of yeah. Christ. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, like Paul said, you know, as long as Christ is preached, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Right. But it could be better. It could be better. Yes, sir. It could be better. It could be much better. You know, so. Uh, this, the, 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 what's sad about it is it focuses everything on that leader. And so the focus is out of order. Wow. Yes, the sir. Focus, it, everything is, is, is the, 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 the road has mm. become obscure. Yes, sir. You know, uh, you know how you can have uh, the wilderness, right or, right? or 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 let's just say you go out and there's a path to walk on, right? You know, in in the woods, right. there's a path. Well, if if no one's walking that path, it becomes overgrown. And the path becomes obscured to where you could get off off the road, right? Because the path isn't clear for you. The narrow way has not been clearly presented. Mm. And so yeah. the, they're, they're, you may be going in the right direction, but you may be on the wrong path. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, there, wow. there's, there is a, a, a misfunction that has happened over time. And I don't know 
when it happened. You know, and well, I think I, I think it happened when we talk about if you talk about these first popes came in. And, you know, then you had these pastors, uh, uh, ministers to come in and made it seem like only certain people was called to to preach the gospel, mm -hmm. to minister the gospel. And I know the concept of the sheep. You remember that, 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 yeah. that term, sheep? Yeah. And I heard some preachers that said, sheep are dumb. And therefore they're saying that I can't leave that to them. Okay, but they, what they fail to understand is they are the sheep as well. <laughs> exactly. They're just the sheep that's that's leading the sheep. Oh yeah, they go, no, they're going to say, I'm a shepherd. No, no, look, 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 bro. They are not the shepherd. I'm, 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 a, I'm a shepherd. I'm a, yeah, well, I'm a shepherd. Sorry to say, there is a shepherd. Did you? A did, shepherd. The shepherd. That is interesting. Because even Christ said, as far as the body, you know, when he, he moved away from the word sheep and stuff to the body. Mm -hmm. I'm the head of the I body. am the head. I'm the head. You are the body. You are the body, right? And yet, some people refer back, I read it, they want to go back to being shepherd, separated from the body, mm -hmm. to guide the body, because they can't, they don't have the same, uh, what do you call it, a, kind of ability mm -hmm. as I have. But not being hateful. You're not called to be hateful. You're called to be the good news. You're not called to be superior. You're called to be children of God. And if that in itself is superior, then you call the others to be as well. It's not something that's only isolated for a selected few who can help. Because matter of fact, you think about it, if we deal with black superiority or white superiority or brown superiority or or Jew superiority or any of those superiorities, those things are all perishing. And then you have to go and meet God. And you're all accountable to God. So let's do the right thing. Let's learn to love one another. You're not called to be hateful. You're not called to be superior. You're not called to seek vain glory. You're called to preach the gospel. And you, and most of you who claim to be Christians are really making it a challenge for those who want to preach the gospel because the history of those who proclaim they're Christians, but we're not. Because the tree is no last fruit. You are trying to tell people that we're evil, we're hateful, we're, we're judgmental, and we want to keep you out opposed to bringing you in. We're supposed to bring in the world, saints, if you are in Christ. But for you that's not in Christ, God is saying, I want you. And it doesn't matter how low you go, I want you to repent and come toward him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.